Greetings, I'm Nicola from nn.web and today I want to talk to you about a little more in depth with OceanWP team. Why is that? Because I have one specific problem with my client, to be more precisely one specific, specific wish. And second one, it is a popularity of OceanWP team for WordPress because many of you today using this team with Elementor uh, page builder. Elementor, it, it's not in focus today, just only the uh, WP Ocean team and my specific problem. Okay, here we are on Green Seed Group hero section if you don't want how if you want to see how to build this section without the this color of header link will be pop up in your top right corner of your screen and i changed just color for header on the original video for hero section it is transparent and here we have light light gray color and now I want to go on dashboard and to my customizer. Okay. Because uh, I want to enable the top bar here, but I forgot one thing. So let's get back. Click here on pages first and go to home page and click not edit with Elementor, but here to edit with uh, Ocean WP uh, sections we want to click on header and display top bar to click on enable click on update and now go to appearance and customize because if you checked your options here in customize top bar didn't will be hidden because on our previous uh, settings Okay, click on top bar, click on general. Oh, our top bar is enabled. Okay, well, what my client wants. Here, he wants one question, one icon and phone number. And here he wants a so link for social media. The social part, it's uh, very easy. We are on top bar settings, click on social. Here you can uh, choose social link target. If a visitor click on link, new window will be opened. Font size, padding, colors. Just for the purpose of this tutorial, I type this address, facebook.com and instagram.com and email, where is email? Mail dot mail dot com. Okay, this is our icon. Social color will be and hover will be a green one. Okay, and this I want to be sixty sixty sixty. Okay. Okay, now go to our real task. Okay, click on content. Our question will be, do you have any question? Uh, questions? Okay, this is our text and what we need we need an uh, icon. I think it, that will be a phone icon. Let me copy from my other screen with a phone number. Okay. Okay, this is the number, icon and question. What we want now? We want to change for example, a font, colors, okay. 
and if you click on phone for example launch pick an app says opera okay let's deny it for now and if we want to change our font and color for example and to put a little bit of margin or padding uh, we need to put our content in div with specific class okay let's put our div with class of my top bar my top bar style you can type your own class this is mine do you have any questions okay and we want to close our div okay but we want to this question here put in another div for example with class of let me which one my top bar okay again you can put your own class here and close it but we have one problem here my client want to display this in one one line not one beneath other so instead div we are going to use span okay okay we have our icon with phone number and with link when we click to launch a phone call from mobile okay click here on publish now let's go in our custom CSS before you type your custom CSS you should install your child team for Ocean WP team because after updating your team your CSS code will be removed so if you don't know how to set up child team for Ocean WP team the link again will be pop up here in uh, right top right corner in our CSS I want to be organized so in my first line I will type which style I'm going to change okay just now let's select our class my top bar style on icon okay and set a padding left 15 pixel notice that this is changed you see okay now I need a padding padding right 5 pixel okay and font size I think uh, 14 to size up our icon okay next is second class for uh, for link okay let's choose font family I'm going to use I think a lot of this is nice font okay then again font size will be 14 pixel and font weight bulk okay 
and we need a hover state we don't want to be in this color we want for example um, this green color let's copy our code again and put a column and type a hover for border I want to set up a border one pixel solid with color of 60 60 60 I think um, no, this is the color black color not that one let's go on top bar click on social and we need this color copy it and go to CSS and here change it okay we need a color again to change color of our font look now it's a green and we need a padding of fifth, uh, five pixel you see I like it and maybe I don't know maybe to change to set background color uh, here but uh, to change our text color hmm not bad okay and we need to change the color of this uh, sentence uh, let me think uh -huh. okay let's use our this class and mm, sorry this class and target a p i think this is a paragraph here let me see again click on content no this is my top bar paragraph okay without p click type color property and put um, 60 60 60 hex code okay if you want you can copy this class again put a um, hover state if you want to of course and type put a border button one pixel solid with color of 60 60 60 again you see and type a padding button to uh, two pixel but you don't need to do that okay guys this is <laughs> on the beginning of this video I'm thinking to make a video short one but this one have more than 15 minutes sorry about that but this is the solution for my specific problem or specific wish of my client again like this video share it spread word it means a lot subscribe to my channel thank you for watching this video but before the end click on publish and let's see our our page sorry Voila. <laughs> okay, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.